In the lush rainforests of Prince of Wales Island in southeast Alaska, people rely on nature for the necessities of life. Listen to native elder Viola Burgess tell how the people of her island harvest food from the land and waters. I live in Heidelberg, Alaska. We live a lot from the land and the sea. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these salmon maybe once or twice a week. I wouldn't know what to do. We get it for free, you know. The price of gas is high, but they still go out and get all that food from the sea. In salmon right now, everybody is in the process of canning, smoking, drying, putting it up for the winter. And we live off of that all winter long. When jobs are few and far between, like the longshoring now, maybe there'll be one or two more ships and that'll be it for the winter. So we have something to fall back on. This is what our people have done since time immemorial. We lived off the land, we lived off the sea. When you really look at, at the people on this island, it's one big happy family. When there's sadness, everybody gets together for that. When there's good things happening, everybody's there for that. Like today, you see people from uh, Kassan, Craig, Kowak, Heidelberg, all here to celebrate with that renaming of the river. This is the Tongass, a place many call a salmon forest. The Nature Conservancy and the U.S. Forest Service teamed up to restore a salmon stream damaged by logging practices decades ago. People said the stream was beyond repair, even calling it by the military acronym Fubar Creek. For decades, the name stuck, but today the creek is restored the wild salmon people depend on are returning to these waters, and native Haida people on Alaska's Prince of Wales Island have given the creek a new name. After living with Fubar for a while, I didn't know the meaning of it for a long time. And I said, when I did hear it, I said, change it. So we came up with the name Hanlai Hana, beautiful river. It feels like we accomplished a lot by being recognized. You know, we're a small village of 300 people and to have the honor of naming the river, renaming the river was a great plus for us. I think. That makes us more of a family on this island. <laughs>